uh hello dear friends in this video lecture we will talk about dna replication uh dna replication is a process of, uh, in which uh, a new dna daughter dna is synthesized uh, from uh, from another dna using that dna as a template so basically it is a template template derived dna synthesis dna is synthesized from dna when a cell replicates, uh, the, the genetic material of it that is kept within the DNA must replicate along with the cell division uh, in order to move to move into the two daughter cells. So, if this is a DNA of, of a cell, then it, it has to replicate at the time of cell division into two molecules. Um, depending on the number of chromosomes, they will each of the chromosome, each of the chromosome contain DNA and each of them will replicate to distribute equally into the daughter cells. This process is called DNA replication. Now coming to the uh, suggestions, uh, the models that were suggested. There are three type, three models has been suggested uh, regarding uh, uh, mode of DNA replication. These models are called uh, conservative mo model, conservative mode of DNA replication, semi-conservative model, and, and, and dispersive model. What exactly they mean? The, semi -con the conservative model, it says that, uh, sorry, The conservative model says that the double standard DNA, the parental double standard DNA, it remains conserved and the two daughter strands that are produced are completely a uh, newer one. This is the theory of uh, conserved mode of DNA replication. The two, the two daughter DNA that are produced, uh, daughter strands that are produced, they are absolutely a new one. Uh, and the, the, the parental double standard DNA remains as it is, as a conserved DNA. But this is not uh, exactly true in, in any case. Uh, if the DNA is a single stranded DNA as it is found in some, some viral viruses, uh, then this can be said that the conservative model is true in that case. The semi-conservative model says that uh, uh, one of the strands of the daughter DNA molecule is parental DNA and the other DNA is the newer one. Uh, so it is half conserved. That's why it is called semi-conservative model. And this model is probably uh, found in ev everywhere in the cellular system and it is true. It was proposed by Watson and Craig. Uh, the dispersive model says that uh, the the daughter strand that that is produced out of a double strand DNA that contains uh, new strands uh, within the older strands like this in a, in a dispersive manner the new strand new DNA is synthesized within the older DNA as a part of the older DNA like this uh, this was uh, this idea came uh, after the discovery of uh, recombination because recombination it occurs because of re breakage and reunion and probably that gave rise to this idea of uh, DNA replication. It was proposed by Max Delbruck uh, who was the propounder of uh, breakage and reunion theory. So this is not also true. Uh, dispersive model is absolutely not present in any system. Uh, <coughs> so semi-conservative model of DNA replication seems to be, uh, in fact it is found in all, all biological system. So, how it can be proved that DNA, DNA replication is semi-conservative? Evidences. In prokaryotic system, um, Meselson and Stahl, in 1958, they did an experiment in E. coli to prove that DNA replication is semi-conservative in nature. What they did? They grew E. coli cells in, in a media containing N15 as a nitrogen source. So all the DNA that were present in the bacterial cell, they were radio labeled by N15, 
N15 was incorporated within the nucleotide of the DNA. N15 is a heavier isotope of normal nitrogen, which is N14. So, this DNA will be a heavier DNA if it is subjected to uh, a centrifugation, uh, ultra centrifugation, which is basically a process uh, in which uh, high speed centrifugation is done uh, under a gradient. So, these, these, are, these are the centrifuges uh, which, when they, they when rotate, the centrifuges become horizontal like this. And so, the picture is uh, given as a horizontal tube of this type. Uh, and the, uh, since it contains a liquid inside, that is a the density gradient that liquid is cesium chloride and uh, the concentration of which increases downward and the DNA was loaded somewhere here say on the top of the, um, the liquid say at this position and uh, after when centrifugation started it, moved, it starts moving down due to centrifugal force and at a particular position it forms a band say this is the band where it, the, the, this particular DNA forms a band. So, this is a band for heavier DNA. Uh, then what they did, uh, they transferred the bacteria into uh, another culture that contained a normal isotope of nitrogen, that is N14. So, whatever new DNA that will be synthesized will contain N14 in its uh, nucleotides or nitrogenous bases, you said. So, uh, after first generation when the DNA was isolated and subjected to centrifugation, uh, the result was like this. The band that was formed earlier uh, at the bottom, it was lifted a little bit, sorry. The color was like, what was the color? This was the color probably. So, the band was uh, lifted to this position. Uh, from this position. So, this was the band position, earlier band position was this because of the heavier DNA. Now, the DNA is uh, comparatively lighter, so it is lifted a little above. Uh, this is because of the hybrid DNA. Uh, in first generation, what what happens, uh, the double standard DNA that was present like this, both of them were N15. When they replicate, they form uh, they, they form a, a hybrid kind of DNA. This acts as, acts as a template and uh, the new DNA that is synthesized is this one. So, it is basically a combination of N14, N15 and N14. So, that is why the density of the DNA becomes uh, comparatively less and so that they form a band a um, uh, little bit above the uh, heavier DNA band. Uh, when the DNA was isolated in the second generation, when this DNA molecule have also replicated, so what this molecule will produce? Uh, the yellow DNA, which is the older one, that is N15, it will again bring a, a newer DNA, which is N14, because the environment is non-radioactive. Uh, so, whatever new DNA that will be synthesized uh, in first, second, third or fourth generation, it will be uh, N14, it will incorporate N14 in its, in its nitrogenous basis. And the, and the, and the, the this colored, what is the color, this is sky colored uh, DNA, which is N14, will, will act as a template and it will be, bring a similar DNA with a similar uh, density that is N14, sorry. Because the, the environment is uh, non-radioactive, non, uh, so N14 will be incorporated, that is only available. And so, the, this DNA, N14, N14 DNA will be much lighter than, the, than even this N15, N14, N15 DNA. So, this is hybrid DNA and this is light DNA. So, what will happen uh, after centrifugation, if this DNA uh, in the second generation is subjected to centrifugation, the band will be lifted uh, again to a position, say here. Earlier it was present here. This was the position. This band will also be formed because in, in the cell, in the, in the population, this DNA is also there. Uh, and uh, most of these cells, however, will have this DNA because as this generation, uh, number of generations will increase, the newer gen DNA that will be 
formed will be of this kind so the band so the density the band width of uh, of lighter dna this is the lighter dna band and this is hybrid dna band the band width of the lighter dna will will increase further it will become wider and wider in the consecutive generations and uh, this band will remain as it is because in always this a yellow colored n15 dna will uh, will will be present will act as a template and will synthesize the new dna n14 so this hybrid band will also be there um, so what is the conclusion after this result the conclusion is this uh, if uh, the conservative model had been true then this uh, heavier dna band would have remained in the um, in the next generation when the when the cells were transferred from n15 to n14 media uh, if the conservative model was true then the heavier dna band uh, would have remained but this is this has vanished here proving that the conservative model is not true uh, however it is not uh, possible to say here that the dispersive model is untrue um, it, to prove uh, dispersive to disprove dispersive model we have to move to the second generation um, in the second generation, we can see the hybrid DNA uh, along with the lighter DNA. But if um, dispersive model had been true, the DNA will become lighter and lighter in, in consecutive generations, leaving no band for the previous generation or the hybrid, ba hybrid DNA, uh, which is not true. The presence of the hybrid DNA proves that uh, uh, the DNA replication is basically semi-conservative, which may occur in this manner as suggested here. So this proved uh, that the DNA replication is semi-conservative in prokaryotic system. So if we talk about the eukaryotic system, how DNA replication occurs in eukaryotic system, uh, the system the, it was proved by Taylor. Taylor, uh, uh, Taylor et al. There were two others, uh, Hages and Woods. Woods and Hages. They were also there in 1957. They proved this in BCF Hava. BCF Hava also called broad beam. Uh, it is a um, leguminous plant. The plant was first grown in, in a media containing tritiated thymidine. So this this plant was grown in a media. The roots were they were given a media containing. 3H thymidine. So 3H treated thymidine is basically radioactive thymidine. So it will emit beta particles, um, indicating that whether uh, radioactive element have, has been incorporated in the DNA or not. Uh, this was treated for eight hours, which is uh, less than one generation of the plant of the cell division. So what happens? Uh, uh, initially, the DNA was non-radioactive. So this is the non-radioactive DNA in the chromosome so this is the chromosome uh, the dna was non radioactive uh, after treatment with uh, treated thymidine it incorporates radioactivity so the new dna that is synthesized out of this when the chromatid was divided like this in the metaphase stage one of the dna was uh, non radioactive the new dna that was synthesized was radioactive so when it was autoradiographed, when when a X-ray film was emulsion of X-ray film was sprayed on the slide, and it was autoradiographed, the autoradiogram showed a result like this. It showed dark spots, spots of uh, this kind of x separate dark spots, which proves that both the chromatids are radio leveled because one of the strand is actually radio level uh, it, it incorporates treated thymidine within its nitrogenous within its nucleotides uh, this is a centromere uh, uh, after eight hours of treatment the the roots were root tips were sub, uh, dissected and were transferred to non-radioactive media and the cell division after cell division um, what will happen in the telophase these two chromatids will get separated uh, since the time is um, getting over, we will talk about this in, in the next video lecture.